Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy plays Rogue Spirit. So a lot of people say that they don't really feel their range class in this game. The dance and the ninja that I'm having right now, they think they are pretty pretty weak and or awkward to play. And at the beginning, when I started playing this game, and even when the game came out in early access, I was kinda agreeing with that notion, because it takes a little bit to get used to. But let me tell you one thing guys, once you get used to these characters, they feel so good. Feel so good. It's frightening. I wish I could. Wish I could have known all of that a little bit earlier. We already see that we're absolutely dismantling these jokers. And they have next to nothing they can do. Just because now I have a little more understanding about how to properly play these characters. What their proper strengths are and how to suck them out. And of course, we are going to try and find some passive items that allow us to really leverage all of those strengths to the highest degree. So that's something to look forward to. For the moment, we're gonna stick with this ninja girl in here. But at some point, we're also gonna go and give the dancer a go. We're just gonna see once we find some nice buddies for us to keep around long term. Um, let's go for the cleave in here. If I see something that is even remotely useful, I'm just gonna take it. Save my rewards for something a bit more useful. There you go. I don't want to get bomb blasted by you, though. There you go. I don't want to get bomb blasted in here because that sounds like it would be painful. And I don't really like dealing with pain. There you go. If I time the attack perfectly, you just get that nice burst of damage that can easily deal up to three to four times the damage of your regular attack. And it feels so good every time it works out. So there are some nice things in there. Increasing my crit chance, it's pretty, pretty potent. Increasing the crit damage as well can lead to pretty, pretty high damage numbers. And the great thing about crit is that it just makes all characters better to some degree, right? But I really would like to actually focus a bit more on actual damage increase, so I'm not sure if I really want to embrace the correctness of these items. The good thing is there will be more shops in the future, so we can make those decisions up as we go. We are in no rush to spend money. But it will still be better to spend money earlier rather than later. Just because it helps us get ahead of the 8 ball a little bit faster. Drunk wait for you, block the staff, and then you bite the dust. More chesticles. What about you? There is a dance up in there, and she looks like she is having a great buddy. So we are going to abuse that oh so maliciously. Here's the range paradox. The biggest problem this game is ever gonna throw at you when you play a range focus build is other range characters. Always and ever more. Now, these are Ghost Fury giving me some crit chance right after coming out of Ghost Form. I like the sound of that. I really, really do. Two of these circles down. There's another range unit. Just wait to get a piece of me. And she got a piece of me. What a girl. Crazy that girl. Okay, what's this gonna be all about? Primary attack booster. I would like to get that, so here's me hoping that the game is actually going to get it. Those challenges have a weird bug where one of the two perks sometimes gets flung up nowhere. And I hope that's not gonna be the case today. Parries of Destiny. We got the thick skin and of course the booster that I really, really wanted. Got thrown, got nowhere. I report that back. I'm just waiting for the patch to come and fix that up. The sooner the better. We're gonna keep our eyes open. Maybe we are going to see it somewhere. I know one time on a run that I sadly didn't record, I actually found it and it was thrown way out of the bounds of the map. Which was hilarious to me, but it was also kind of sad. But it was mostly hilarious. I was just impressed with the fact that I actually managed to find it in the first place. Because that ain't no guarantee. That ain't no guarantee whatsoever. Now, there's of course a bigger guarantee that these two shrines will hopefully be good for me. I got the rerolls. And this is the best possible moment to utilize them. So utilizing them is exactly what I will do. Not for you, lady. Hold still. Hold still. Boom. 
And that is a reroll for sure. From your tank booster. Marvelous. And here is Range Mastery even better. Range Mastery is either the preferred option because it makes both my regular attack and my secondary attack better. Allow me to deal pretty, pretty nice damage as we progress in here. Makes me very happy. Makes me feel satisfied. I should also be getting closer to the finishing line in here, so let's keep our eyes open for that. And speak of the devil, there it is. Exit found. We also almost cleaned out the entire place. We never went back to the shop. But we have a lot of money that we can spend on whatever the shop on this floor is gonna throw at us. And I think that all by itself is a pretty, pretty good thing. Now that bomb hitting me. Ain't nothing good about that. Nothing good about that at all. But that's just the way it is. Even more ranged mastery. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. There's one of those passive shrines. So let's see what that one's gonna hold for me. Could have sworn I saw some kind of yellow light in the past distance. Uh, I don't really like Cleave. But we may as well get it, I guess. No, let's go for a reroll. And you know, Empirica's sword is gonna be nice. There's the yellow light. That means a shop ain't too far away. Needless to say that I really, really look forward to seeing it. 455 coins. That means we can buy two things in there. At the very least. <laughs> And that is exactly what I would like to do if the stars align. All we need to do is see what the guy has in offer. What he has in store for us. Hey guys. Don't mind me just doing a whole lot of murder in here. 26 crit, da crit damage already. 26 crit damage is pretty, pretty nice for this point of the game. And shockwave, firebomb, and that takes care of all my problems. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? These jerkers, though, they could need a little bit more trouble. Or not. You could also just absolutely destroy them without giving them any chance to retaliate. Isn't it beautiful to witness? I think it kind of is. Now, on this floor, there's also gonna be a boss that we have to take care of, so... Definitely something for us to keep in mind. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good. We also got some healing out of that guy. And a spirit shrine, and the shop, and a lot of combat to be had. And now for you, girly. Done. Ah, not that good, these options. Let's take the... Parry damage, I guess. Not really something I thoroughly enjoy having. Well, hey, what else is new? Secondary attack boost I'm gonna take. Then I'm also gonna take a crit chance in here. Not the best options overall, but... It's options. It's options to have. And again, the good thing about critical strike chance is that it affects both my regular attack as well as my secondary attack equally. So I still get some benefit out of that. And the more critical strike chance we get, the more critical strike damage may end up being useful for us. Oh, there and there and impaled. Ha 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 ha, so far so good. Oh, chess. Can't believe I almost would have walked right past that one. There's another big one. And I can't wait to get it. And another critical outlook. Gonna take it. And again, if it's not entirely necessary to go for those rebuilds, I'm going to refuse going for them. I just one combo that strong enemy. It was a ninja girl, so she doesn't have that much HP. Even as an elite enemy. But still, that's pretty pretty potent already. Done. Now let me see them stats. She's actually worse than my current buddy in every way. But I still kind of want to see a little bit of a mix up in here. I don't know if I said that early on, but I kind of want to try and beat this game using only the range units. So, if possible, I'm going to try and avoid that to the best of my ability to go for any melee unit ever. There's only one exception I will probably make, and that is the 
challenge where I have to rapidly switch up bodies. That is the only challenge where I would probably make an exception there. There's another ninja lady. Of course, I'm going to grab that body as well. Oh, the backspin on that one, huh? That's just nasty. Oh, come on. Bite the dust, girly. There you go. Oh, the healer in the back was just a problem to the highest degree. And there was what I was saying earlier. Your strongest enemy when it comes to playing those range classes is always the other range classes. Melee characters, you can just juggle them around like it's nothing. And it feels pretty, pretty good to do so, too. Hi, guy. Try to sneak in some charge checks here and there. Just to get a little feeling of the experience here and there. Nothing else to see here? No. So we keep on moving forward. We have seen a fire shrine in the past. So once we see the boss, we're gonna use and abuse that. Oh, so maliciously. Double kill. That's good. He is real good. Nice. It's just so satisfying getting those guys killed so quickly. Like that. That's a parry. And a kill. Another fairly weak body set, at least, so nothing for us to be all that interested in. What's going on in here? These jerkers didn't even see me. Shocking experiences, right? Double kill these jerkers. And another one buys the dust. And one more chest. Could maybe even go back to the shop, buy ourselves another item, but... I'm not that fun of backtracking. Oh wow, there was a ghost spawning in, and the auto target actually recognized that faster than I did, and immediately killed him as he was just in the process of spawning in. Feels very good when that happens. It happens on occasion, and I cherish those opportunities an awful lot every time they do. Uh, can I do like that? There you go. Good damage, almost done. Done and done. Now for you, ninja lady. Gotcha, good. And the frozen big boy as well. You're just absolutely crushing these girls, and actually makes me feel kind of guilty for them. Only a little bit. Not overly so, just a tiny, tiny bit. See no chests in here, which is kind of sad, but it can't be helped. That's just too bad. Nothing else in terms of essence shrines in here, so we keep on progressing. And we should be getting close to the boss fight zone, right? Yeah, there it is. Alright, fire shrine. I knew there was one. Gonna grab that real quick. And then we're gonna go back over here to the exit. And have ourselves the fight of a lifetime. Nah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty simple, I think. Gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Right, big boy? Come on, show me what you got. That was the fanciest parry I've ever done in my life. We're almost done in here. We deal so much damage, it's insane. Parry and... Come on. Done. No trouble there. We didn't even face tank, we parried all the attacks we had to. Well, we did a very good and efficient job at it and made me feel pretty, pretty satisfied about myself. We're gonna keep this kind of momentum forward. We're gonna be having a real good time here. Take out that Joker. Gonna go for you as well. That's a big man, but he's not gonna last. Not going to last, what I tell you. See? There's a dead and there's just a girl. No more girl. Oh, there I was speaking too soon. There was one more girl. Just the one. Alright, oh, we have to progress over here, but there's also a unit up in there. And also a demon. Well, we showed him, I guess. He never stood a chance, poor guy that he is. Now, there's a lot of deviation for us in here, so we're gonna use and abuse that at least a little bit. And that bummer man, we are not going to let finish his jump on my body. Because I prefer to be alive and kicking. Or more like a life and thrower. The guy who can't kick, we're gonna see him in some of the later biomes. 
We're gonna see him, we're gonna kick him. But we're not going to play him because he ain't got no range attacks. There's some characters in here that have some range attacks mixed in there. They have a range secondary attack, but they don't qualify as pure range classes, so... I am not going to play them in this playthrough. Not today and not like this. This is all about the ladies. All about the ladies and their strong as hell throwing arms. And I prefer it that way. Another one bites the dust. These jokers just keep scanning the fire. Speaking of fire, there you go. Enjoy some fire bombs. And boom. Yeah, I think we are already easily strong. But we can become stronger still. And getting stronger is exactly what I intend to do in here. It's a pretty, pretty big map we already got going on in here a lot of room for deviation, but we haven't really found anything to show for it just yet. Oh, that will change. There's the shop. We have, again, a lot of money in our hands. Range mastery. Huge. Do I rather get the secondary attack boost or the critical outlook? I think I would rather go for the secondary attack boost on here. We use them quite a lot, after all, at least for the moment. And there is a stuff here. He's not gonna last long. Easy. What's this passive gonna be, though? Uh huh. huh. Getting crit chance after leaving Ghost Farm. Perfect. Every time that allows us to get some honestly got good burst damage out of the experience, I'm gonna be very happy. You see that we get the perfect secondary attack of that's 45 damage. That all by itself is pretty, pretty substantial. And I greatly enjoy it. And that is not accounting for a crit, which you can get. Can you hold still, please? Thank you. Gotcha. Now we have to go to the left, so we're gonna go for the right. Finding a strong unit up in here, just wait for us to... Show me a real good time. And there goes a huge chunk of my HP. Got one really strong hit in. And we found the challenge. I really kind of want to do the challenge, and I hope it's gonna give us something nice. But this is also where we have to do a change up on our character. Hell, who's a range mastery? I want them both. Oh. There you go, that's a lady buddy. Oh. I don't see any more lady buddies, so we have to make the switch now. But I can't, ah, I have to attack, otherwise, I won't get any new buddies. Sad, good life. Oh. Get you out, get you out, got a new body. Did get get the new body. Oh my god. We almost bought it right then and there. Oh. <laughs> and of course one of the perks got thrown god knows where. Because that always happens. I hate it. <laughs> it's so sad. It is so very, very sad. Maybe we can see it somewhere in the distance. Maybe we can. No, I don't see it. I don't even know which one we didn't get there, but... Oh, no, it's still here! Oh, we are lucky. We got them both. Very, very, very lucky. So there's some kind of bug going on that makes those challenge rooms just throw their boots around everywhere. I may have explained that already in this video, but I kind of feel like needing to do that again. Because that is one of those lucky situations where I can actually end up finding it in a later position. But don't count on that. Don't count on that until the devs have fixed the bug. Now, two shrines. Health booster, pretty, pretty nice. So is the crit chance. We're just gonna take the health because we really haven't gotten a lot of that so far. And more ranged mastery. Increasing our damage yet again. And there's the exit already. That's fancy. I feel like this floor was interesting because it didn't feel as linear. A lot of the floor was just clumped together on one big part of the map, which made maneuvering it be perceived as very easy. Come on. Come on. There you go. And she had a much better buddy than anything I had before. And done. There's a spirit shrine, no chest. I think we can actually go and leave this floor in a bit cautious. Man, we do so much damage. So much. Good stuff. The big boy, but he is not gonna last long. I'm still in fight with someone, I think. But I don't see where. 
Who? Why? I even hear the music. And the camera angle is kind of awkward. And my familiar used an attack. Who is still seeing me? I'm actually confused. Okay, you know what? Whoever it is, he has to, he has to live with what he's done. Oh, there. That was these guys. Oh, maybe it was, I guess. That was awkward. Maybe I pulled them somewhere through the wall. Well, doesn't matter. We have gotten stronger. We've gotten some money. We got a good body in our hands. And we made it all the way into the next biome. Where destiny and greatness and dances await us. I wouldn't mind getting another dancer, but I also wouldn't mind keeping this ninja buddy around for a little longer. He has a very compelling kid. Stuff. And done. That's like 40 damage when we get that perfectly, and I just love to see it. Look at that, we are one-shotting these girls. They don't stand a chance. And we also got our charge attacks in here, dealing quite good damage. Oh, he had a strong lightning attack, though. And there's some ladies in the back line. Not a fan. Good stuff, and done. Let that be a warning shot. We still need to be very mindful about those ladies having the ability to absolutely destroy us. If we don't pay them proper attention. There's a lightning shrine. We're gonna take that one with us into the boss fight later down the pipeline. And you got some electric powers on your own, don't you? Done and done. There's the Kickmaster. We're going to destroy him. And there is a passive bird. Just waiting for us to play it. What's it gonna be, game? We get... Nothing I'm truly excited about. We take more damage on parries because I parry all the time anyway. Kind of feel like that would have been worth a reroll, but I would rather save my rerolls for the blue shrines because those are where more impactful and consistent power ups can be earned. And I really, really would like to get those. I took the spirit shrine. Okay, sure. Didn't even do that intentional. I was just clicking to pick up stuff there. But that's just the way it is. I feel like I haven't used my abilities in quite a while. I kind of probably genuinely forgot that I have those options at my disposal. No, not one of those shrines. Anything good? Increase my critical strike chance right after coming out of Ghost Farm. And I like it. I'm pretty okay with that. And there goes the bandit. Anything going down in here? Man, those crits. When they come around, man, you feel them. You feel them. They hurt so good. Another one bites the dust. Sometimes some of these abilities feel like they don't work all that well against elevation. There goes a parry for you, girly. Don't worry, there's more parries where that one came from. And I hope you enjoy it thoroughly. Range mastery yet again. And a strong big boy busybody. Gonna show you a real good time. And done. Never stood a chance. Gonna take you out as well because I can. And we got a chance and we got some healing and we got some money and I can't wait to find the next shop. I feel like at this point I've already made a point for how good those range classes can be once you just got the proper game flow down. There's a lot of enemies in here. And a fire shrine in the shop just ahead of me. Also some strong units. Let's get that. I would have liked to go for the dance instead of that, but that was not a thing I guess. Fine then. Got the bandit. Uh, let's play it safe. There you go. We are in a good position here. We are in a very good position here. And we murdered them all. Made good usage of that narrow hallway in there. And I am very satisfied with that outcome. Alright, shopkeep. What you got? Secondary attack booster. Gracefully accepted. Everything else is just kind of mess. So I'm gonna leave it behind. 
chest in here, but enemies, another big boy. I almost did 100 damage just out of my secondary tech because all of the three projectiles ended up critting. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing? Come on, guys. There's one fighting with us, another one. Dropping some healing for me, too. At this rate, I may just never have to replace this body I'm using right now. Which wouldn't make me all that angry. On the contrary, we would enjoy that. I would quite enjoy that. There goes you. There goes the pump throw. And now for you, big boy. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Another strong unit. Don't get impaled by this guy. Marvelous. Got the bandit. Got the other guy. And off for you. All the way in the back, Mr. Knifey guy. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good. Easy does it. Easy. Killing. Another bandit. They just fall like flies in front of me. Hey, the big boy. The old enemy wasn't throwing that attack towards the ghost that I didn't see there yet again. And I like it. I like it because the sooner those scumbags go down the drain, the better for me. Okay, that girl though, she is a problem. She is a problem indeed. And she got a strong attack on me. Got the big boys. Okay, no for you. Get the attack in there, and we have it. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up the bodies in here just to switch up my playstyles a little bit. But man, every time, the only thing I am fearing at this point are the ladies. They hurt. They hurt so bad. But this chest feels so good. And we get a primary attack booster. I'm also kind of tempted to just grab all of these, but we're gonna make our attacks sting a little more. Oh. Good stuff. And call it back. The callback already dealing 21 damage. Crazy. And one more. Just for the HP. There it is. And we found the exit already. Okay. In that case... We have a lot of money, so I kind of feel like double checking the show because I already forgot what else was in sale for Nia. Nothing really exciting. I went for a reroll because I kind of felt like doing that. And I don't regret it. We got some good stuff in here. Now, there was a fire shrine. There it is. Claim it. And now we're gonna go for the boss. The boss, the boss, the boost, the exit. There we go. Kind of to this cursor, but move it a little bit faster. Maybe we're gonna suggest that after this video, if I remember that. There's a good old aspect of war, and we are going to burn him into the ground. Got parries. Ooh, that could have fit me, big boy. That could have fit me, and I would have hated that. He actually got that attack off. Good. Another parry. Lightning strikes down. And we're almost done. Done. Oh, yes. See how we just had perfect control there over our, our, our damage. We just had to position ourselves properly. I botched some parries here and there. But that's on me. And speaking about me, I am in the fifth biome out of six now. Getting closer to the finishing line. And I'm pretty sure I just almost one-shot that girl. That is crazy. But it's the kind of craziness I can get behind. Give me this chest. And see who else is waiting for us in here. One of these jokers. And one of them jokers actually got an attack on me. Not a fan. Not a fan at all, but of that power-up over there, just waiting for me to claim it. That one I'm a huge fan of. There's a heater! That heater I want to see gun. And, oh no, there's a resurrection guy! No way! No way! No way! No way! Did we get him? I kind of lost sight of him, truth be told. 
Oh, maybe that was a bomber, man. I was just mislooking. I hope it was. I don't see any resurrection going on in here, so I think we are in safe waters. Oh, that almost was dreadful. Almost, but not quite. And our reward made it worth it. Another chest as well, so the next shop we see will have at least one good stuff for us. And you. And you. Oh. There we go. I actually killed her with my fairy. And we already found the challenge. Feels good. Charge attack. Oh no, you won't do any resurrections in here. I dare you. Gotcha. Alright, so what's this gonna be? Primary attack booster. Interest is there. Hold on. Ooh. Throw the truck weapon there. Throw the fireball in there. Get that parry in there. And almost done. Done. Pretty sure we ended that challenge by just burning all of our remaining enemies to death. And yet again, the perk that I was most interested in is lost. I hope that we may be able to find it in here at some point, but doubt. The doubt is very, very strong on me on this one. There's some healing just flying my way. 87 crits, still counting up. Maybe we can get some more of that. There's a lot of enemies just winking up in there, huh? And another shrine, and another big boy, but no range units, so we can just go crazy in here to our heart's content. Did I just kill him exclusively with my comeback attack? It looked like I did. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it's so good. There's a sentinel. He may be a little bit trouble, but not that much. And he's dead. See, no trouble whatsoever. Another vampiric assault. No, I think I'm gonna go for the crit chance in here. I actually feel pretty good about my sustain so far. There's another strong unit just running around, trying to get a piece of me, and he's dead. There's a big one. Dead. <laughs> he didn't even know what was happening to him. And our shotman. Shotman, shotman, shotman. Giving me a health boost and another critical strike chance increase. Both gracefully accepted. Thought for a uh, moment there was a chest there. I don't think I've ever seen a chest being immediately close to the shopkeeper. But just because I have never seen it doesn't mean that it can't happen, right? I'm gonna go for a reroll on this one. And I do regret it a little bit. I still regret it. That was not that good. 104 damage though, let's go! 104 damage on the crit. That is what it looks like when dreams end up coming through. Got the other guy that we weren't even aiming for to come back attack immediately. That is something that I'm not really planning for, for the most part. That return attack happening to hit a lot of enemies at once. But when it does work out for you, it feels so very good. Right there! I was not even. I was just calling my ass back so I can attack it properly. I wasn't even accounting for him standing on top of them and getting absolutely screwed by them. On that topic, we can absolutely one combo them now. Feels very good. Feels extra good. There's another perk just waiting for me to collect it. More empowerment coming at me from every side. And the big boy doesn't have what it takes to take me out because I am a strong, independent woman with a great throwing arm. You see how this all comes together here? And it's beautiful. Hello there, another one. Gotcha. And more range mastery. We just keep getting more powerful and powerful. And it's beautiful. Thanks for this. 62 damage out of that one. Now imagine that one being a crit. Now imagine all of those being crits in here. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world we are destroying in here for all of these jokers. One shot with a crit. And now for you. Gotcha. A spirit shrine that we really don't need. There's another strong unit and the exit. What kind of strong unit is that? Another one of those ninja ladies. And she has a healer backing up, eh? 
<laughs> Not too shabby. We had all the damage we needed to succeed it. Gonna take her over again. Just mixing up our playstyle in here for a little bit. We had a lot of fun with the dancers. But now we're gonna be honest, we got ninjas yet again. In the abandoned estate. The final biome of this run. Let's make it the best final biome of our lifetime. So our prime, our secondary attack, if we line it up properly, it's absolutely going to destroy people. And that's exactly what we're looking forward to. Like that. It's like that. Saw this chest. Very happy that you can actually open that one up now. It's very good. That's like 75 damage, a bit more than that. Just for pressing the... What button is that? The Y button on my controller. I was about to call it the triangle button because I'm still a PlayStation kid at heart. Despite me having used this Xbox controller for such a long time. And I will not let you do any resurrections in here. That's not how I conduct my business. Oh, you hit me though. You hit me and I resent the notion. Got the big boy. And the lady. She got me. Besides, I have just enough to evade my strong attack. Which I really wanted to get off because I wanted to get the healing out of it. Well, can't be helped. 65 out of that attack, which is nice too. He died. There's a bomb flying my way. And it didn't find me. Good stuff. And that guy, he just didn't see me at all. He just didn't see me whatsoever. I like it. I like to be as conspicuous to my enemies. To all of my enemies. Another one bites the dust. He is throwing those fires and you! Trying to resurrect them. I feel like he's dark behind the corner on there. It's nice. Gives me the opportunity to just stay. Ah, he got out. I'll have to take out the bandit again. I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this opportunity to just finish off the lady first. And then he played me like a fool. What a man, what a legend. Took a little a bit of a detour in here. And I don't think it was worth it because there is nothing of real interest going on in here. Oh, you. Got some strong attacks in on me though. Cost me a lot of HP. There's a chest over there. Gotcha. Like, oh, damn it. Unleash the attack a moment too soon. Okay, this is a warning signal. We need to be a bit more careful. We can't let these guys get the jump on us like this. But that's fine. Let's go back. Keep on collecting the money so we can spend it once we find our shop. Wherever that is. Hopefully somewhere where we don't have to look too, too far ahead for. I can already see it. It's very far away. Of course, of course it is. That's where we came from initially, the entrance. And there is enemies and there's purse. A lot of dancers in here just waiting for me to make a mess out of them. Spoken like a true rock star, I guess. Come on, hold still. Gotcha. Ah, spoke too soon. She got me instead. There she is. And another Vampirica soul. We really haven't gotten all that many out of them, so at this point... Don't think we really have to bother anymore. Probably best to just grab myself a buddy now. A new one. But they're also weak. This one's actually pretty okay. Ah, uh, that's where we need to go, so this is where we will go. And this dancer girl in here. Would like to see that one go early. <laughs> Dog wave attack. And the finishing touches. Easy money. Easy as pie. Nothing else over here. Nothing else over there. So we're gonna keep on progressing a little bit more. That's one down. So many dances. That's a bad scene. For sure. One of them got me. But that's okay, cause you have pretty okay regular attack. Not exactly outstanding special attack though, but I guess that's as good as it gets. Let's leave it at this. Leave it at that. 
strong unit. I think there's a strong unit in the back. And I think that's a dancer, so... Of course I'm gonna go grab myself that lady. Gonna make her my own. Gotcha. It is a dancer. Good stuff. And we got the entire map in our control. Oh, uh, almost done. But we got these two jokers running my way. Good stuff. And now for you. Oh. Gotcha. But it hurts. But it was worth it. We got a strong body of the experience. And we found the shop. Now for you, lady. Almost one shot her without a crit. Almost. No, 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 no. I'm definitely gonna grab myself the crit chance and the crit empowerment. That seems like a pretty good combo to grab at this point. No reason to go for any rerolls that we don't really need. There it is. Oh no! He managed to resurrect, but only once. Well, <laughs> that one time was already too much for my personal taste. 105 crits, let's go! Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? So we have to go to the right, so we're gonna go to the left. Just to see what we can find. Like over there, there's a perk, which we are going to grab in a moment. And you are trying to resurrect some guys, don't you? Needless to say that I am not having that. Oh, you really? You hit me with that, didn't you? There you go. What a girl. Also found a frost shrine. I would rather not take that one with me into the final fight, but if there's nothing else that can be done about, then that's how it shall be. But I would rather have a fire thunder shrine for the extra damages. And you, lady. Leticia. Gotcha. Another critical strike chance increase, taken in a heartbeat. We have accumulated quite a bit of all that, didn't we? Quite a bit indeed. We can feel it. Good stuff. I think we have like two rewards left. And I'm very sure that that is the last blue shrine in here. So, we could go for either of these things. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for the healing booster. Didn't get any more damage out of it. We could have gotten some more, but I honestly got I feel like going for that HP there was the smart choice. Also found ourselves a fire shrine and a firebomb thrower. And we found ourselves the axe. So, with that all being said and done, let's finish this run once and for all. There were some more enemies, but we had no business taking them out. We have bigger fish to fry. Like that beautiful lady all the way over there. Yeah, throw your knives. Oh, that attack. I almost guessed that one wrong. But evading that is pretty, pretty possible. Where are you at, Gertie? Good stuff. Summon some goons. Oh, no. Oh, dear. God. Dodge! No! Where was my dodge? We still won. We still won. But where was the dodge I was looking for? Doesn't matter. We won. And that is all that does matter. Guys, we did it. Easy win using only range classes. And I think you can see how these work out once you got a proper grip for them, right? I hope this video helps someone out there. I've been Daddy Grant, you have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Have the greatest of days, and please do stay as awesome as you are.